Sandburn. Or Sandburn. Sandburn. Uh, it was good. It was really great, actually. Uh, we're in the hotel now, so that's, that's really nice. Um, the rooms are pretty good. Everything is solid. Um, yeah, not, not much. I mean, nothing to complain about, really. The weather's great. People are great. It's good to be back with the team and all that. So. You have Eddie back next to you again. What's it like to have him back? Oh, man. Um, it's kind of weird because we're roommates. So I was kind of seeing him like progress, and it was just really nice to see him progress and to see like 47 back on the field. Like it was super weird. I was looking at my right, I was expecting someone else. And I look at Eddie, I'm like, hold on. I don't know. I was kind of like, I surprised myself for a second, but uh, it's really good to have him back. Um, he's going to do some great things, and, and I believe in him. Everybody believes in him. I think we're going to we're gonna do well. Yeah. With the way last season ended, you feel that there was maybe a little extra motivation to get the fall practices started or anything like that faster at all? Uh, absolutely. Uh, I wouldn't call it the, you know uh, the cause of it but in general I think everybody was fired up uh, personally I'm really fired up to see the defensive line I think uh, we're gonna own up to, to our jobs and I think everybody got a lot bigger um, you're looking at Matt Dickerson, and he's gotten huff and everybody's big it's, it's crazy um, but yeah I think we're gonna do really well this season and, and yeah we're gonna push through what do you talk about getting bigger the strength and conditioning coach yes. how big of a role did he play absolutely huge coach Lose has been a really big help to everyone uh, <laughs> You know, we can stand on point as far as nutrition. Nutrition is like the biggest thing for us. Um, obviously, weightlifting, speed work, and all that. But um, it's been really good. Um, very active summer. Do you have a lot of those protein shakes? Yes, yes, a lot of protein shakes um, every morning. Uh, so for some guys that come back in the afternoon, um, you know, you just got to eat right and get your protein in. What do you have to weight wise, and how's that compared to last season? Sorry, what do you add weight wise? Right now, I'm at 300. And 20 pounds just about, give or take three pounds, I don't know. Um, feels good. Uh, honestly, Coach Lucy does a good job for us to, you know, proportionally um, be able to move around, um, keep our weight, you know, good. Uh, it's not bad weight or anything. So, I mean, I'm feeling good moving around and stuff like that. So, And what did you weigh roughly game weight last year? Last year, I'd say, what, 305? Just about, yeah. So did you hit uh, any new personal best in the weight room during the offseason? Yeah, just about. Um, well, okay, well, besides me, did you see uh, Eddie's video on uh, Instagram? Yeah. Super crazy. The guy lifts a truck. It's, it's nuts. Um, I think, yeah, everyone's done a good job in lifting their weights. Um, personally, I'm, like, just under Eddie, and it's kind of, like, weird because, like, you know, I'm trying to catch up to him a little bit. But, uh, no, yeah, everybody's... Uh, capping off, and it's been really good. What's the biggest difference between what you guys do after the season ends and then what when you know after the spring ends, heading into fall camp? Um, after you know after the season ends, um, it's it's mostly peak speed, and and we try and get as much speed work as possible. And once uh, spring ball settles down, it's more conditioning and weights. It's weights for both, but you know we try to focus on different areas to be more prepared for the season. How does the, uh, the added weight affect the weight of the player? Doing the same thing? Honestly, um, you know, for some guys it's like a placebo effect. They feel bigger, so they kind of just do better. Um, honestly, if you can move and you can use your body, you know, the way that you know you can, then you'll be fine. Uh, if you look at last season, a guy like uh, Kenny Clark, he wasn't necessarily the strongest guy, uh, you know, but and not the heaviest either, but he held his ground because he knew how to move his weight around and keep his center of balance uh, properly, you know, centered. So. How much does... How does, uh, how does Eddie compare now to what he was pre um, I can't really tell. It's the first day. Um, we'll, we'll definitely see, I guess, this season. But uh, I, I believe in him. He's going to do really well. Yeah. How much does strength kind of factor into making strides in the run defense? Um, I mean, it, it, it's strength has a lot to do with it, uh, but it's mostly technique. It's always keeping your body positioned. Um, you know, strength will only take you so far. You know, you can be the strongest guy and just not make your assignments. You have to make your assignments every time. So, yeah. How do you build up the regimen over the summer change from what you guys were doing last year? Um, honestly, I, 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 I couldn't really give specifics. I kind of just go. Whatever's on my sheet, I just do it. Um, it's been a lot of strength training, a lot of power training, power lifting. Um, it, it's been mainly getting guys more explosive. And uh, again, another guy, Ken, uh, Kenny Walker, he, uh, he power cleaned or hand cleaned 300 pounds. That was pretty impressive to me because he weighs like less than half of that. <laughs> yeah. 
you can obviously go to the weight room to improve strength, but how do you improve technique? The technique, it's always on the field. It's always before practice, after practice. Um, you know, you get a couple guys working with you, and, and everybody kind of just works their technique. Coach Angus is really good about that. He's he's one of those coaches that will get your technique down and make sure you're good to go on game day. Cool.